What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Clark, back with another YouTube video. Today we're gonna be reading all my old college mail. Well, not all of it. I have a lot, like a lot, a lot, but I didn't want to like sit here and bore y'all reading all of it. Cause college mail isn't really what y'all expect. I feel like at least on the basketball side. But yeah, um, when we hit 25,000 subs, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. Giving away either $200 or a pair of shoes. Um, there'll be Jordans, of course. All of this is with my own money or the money I'm earning from y'all watching my video. So it's just a way of me giving back. You get what I mean? So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and hop into the video. Okay, first, um, all of it's kind of scattered around, but I'll um, start off with Notre Dame. Um, they used to send me mail all the time. Um, let me just put it in my lap, actually. Oregon State, they used to send me mail. Um, the cool thing about Oregon State is their stuff was actually like real questions. You can see it says Jalen Clark. Focus. But um, the stuff was real questions. Um, they made real connections. They actually sent like handwritten mail. As you'll see, like all this is all Sharpie Dawn handwritten. A lot of the schools that send mail, like I have a, a lot, like I just grabbed a handful, but I have a lot of North Carolina State mail. And a lot of it is just like automated mail. Not automated, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's pre-typed, like they just send it, copy and paste, send it to everybody like this. They can send this to me and then like, eight other kids and I wouldn't be able to know the difference if you get what I mean. But yeah, North Carolina State sends a lot of mail. But back to Oregon State real quick. So Oregon State, um, very unique program because um, first they send the mail and everything. Not all schools send mail. So like I had 20 something offers and not probably only like four or five schools actually sent me the mail. Like because after your sophomore year, they could just call and text you. And we all know calling and texting is such a easy, much easier way to um, interact. But Oregon State, to get your offer, if they're interested in you, most of the time, this is most of the time, they make you come up to the school with like your own money. So then they know you're really interested in the program and then they give you an offer, which is a unique way of doing that. All right, so this came from Virginia, um, University of Virginia. Um, just talking about the school and everything. Like I'm saying, this is like mail that we just send to everybody. I wouldn't call that real specific mail. Um, I feel like it, it's not really aimed at me, just like more educating me on the university and like positive stuff. So if they ever were to offer me, I already know like the background and stuff, which is cool. Um, Notre Dame, uh, we all know the Fighting Irish, you know what I mean? Um, very good program. Um, just um, this one right here was just talking about the coaches and um, what is it called? They actually wrote my name though at the top. I mean, I guess that's some type of effort. Um, the head coach and everything on right here. Um, Ohio State, that's my mom's alma mater. I was really a big Ohio State fan growing up. Aaron Kraft was like my favorite player ever. Um, but yeah, they sent me um, some stuff here. Um, I had to refilm this video twice. A lot of this mail wasn't open, so then I just had to reopen it. Um, North Carolina State, again, it just says the number one Rank school, like I mean, North Carolina State sends so much stuff, bro. Like it's ridiculous. Um, this one's from Washington State. Um, they invited me to like a little camp or whatever. Handwritten, as y'all learn, like handwritten mail means a lot. Like handwritten means they took the time out of their day to really, they really want you. They're trying to like persuade you. I'd say if you just get something that's typed up, that's like easily accessible. It doesn't even say hey Jalen or hey whatever your name is. Um, most of the time you're just on like a list and it's just getting funneled out like North Carolina State North Carolina State North Carolina State. I actually like this one though. This one actually like showed me cool things about my conference too Because it showed all like the, where the draft picks are And like the ACC and SEC are way bigger conferences than the Pac-12 Pac-12 is a much, much smaller, well, much smaller conference than ACC and SEC. I think these teams both have like 16 to 18 teams and they're split. And then the Pac-12, we only have 12 schools. But the fact that we have that many kids still getting drafted is a great sign for the Pac-12. Um, Stanford, Little Rock, Portland, North Carolina State again, bro. North Carolina State, like I said, maybe like North Carolina State again, this one I just opened. Maybe if I was like a North Carolina kid, this would mean a lot. Me being on the West Coast, I'm not really familiar. Um, it just talks about like the city and like them being on the Forbes. Um, 
they saw me in April, I guess. And then player development under the head coach. I'm guessing his name's Coach Keats, because that's what it says on the paper. Um, another fighting Irish male. Oh, Boise State. Um, this is a school that actually offered me. And this one looks like a hand. Oh, this is actually handwritten. Actually, handwritten just, is just like a quote, but it's handwritten, if you get what I mean. That takes time and effort. Um, it says, read this quote the other day, read this quote the other day and thought of you guys. Best of luck this fall. Um, Notre Dame, Notre Dame, Little Rock, Portland. Oh, this is Stanford, when Stanford was interested in me back um, my sophomore year. Colorado, um, Colorado was cool. I really like theirs. Um, let me try to find the little thing real quick. I think it's right here. Yeah, Colorado's is cool. Um, they sent me a little letter. It says, Dear Jalen, and there's just a lot, talking about a lot. Um, it shows Boulder. One thing, I, I'm a very like outdoors active type person. So like, LA is cool too. LA is beautiful. Um, like in LA, where we're at, you're like at, well, from UCLA, you're not an hour from the beach. You're like 10 minutes from the beach. Not even 10 minutes, you're like five minutes from the beach. If you like the beach, you need to go to UCLA. Like you're right there. But um, you're like really an hour away from everything. You go be in the mountains in an hour, you can go snowing and skiing and all that, snowboarding. Um, you're an hour from the desert, you can go. Yeah, So, but just like you're an hour away from everything. Um, camera probably cut off a little bit. Battery pack died, I had to change it out. But yeah, Boulder is very similar. You have four seasons up there. Um, just real pretty like area. Um, it was cool. I'm talking to get to know the coaches. Um, Oregon State, some more. Little Rock, Washington State. As y'all can tell though, like, um, actually there's an Ohio State letter I have that breaks it all down. Let me find it for you right here. Boom. It says, Dear Jalen, as you may or may not know, NCAA rules only allow us to send you introductory letters and questionnaires prior to June 15th following your sophomore year. Therefore, we want to take advantage of this opportunity to introduce you to the Ohio State University. So basically what this is saying is like they can only mail you until your sophomore year of June 15th. But after your sophomore year of June 15th, the schools that are really interested in you are just going to call you and text you. Like mailing takes a lot of effort back and forth. You may get it, you may not. Um, someone may intercept the mail, may get lost. You know how UPS and all of them are. So, the, but the real schools are just going to call you back and forth if you get what I mean. NC State, NC State, I'm done, I don't want to see the NC State, NC State really just floods it, um, more mail, um, this one is just like them, a school talker, I don't even know what school this is, but there's, oh, uh, Michigan, oh, uh, this is Michigan, they're just talking about their coaches, and like, they just typed up a whole, like, paragraph, I guess, about his life, I don't know if they, wanted us to read that. That's probably not the most um, efficient way of recruiting kids because this is a big school. But if you're a big Michigan kid, that's a great way. I think my parents actually read that though. Um, this is from Oregon State. They asked me what am I looking for in a college program. Um, actually, real nice guys up there too. Coach Thompson and all of them. Real good guys, real good guys. Um, I wish, I don't, well, I don't even know if UCLA sends a mail. I don't know if UCLA sends mail. I never got any mail from UCLA, but then again, I live right here. Like, after my sophomore year, I was just like always going down there to games and stuff. But I don't know, cause like the people when I was my freshman and sophomore year that I wouldn't been receiving mail, aren't even the coaches there now. Now it's Cronin and stuff. I'm pretty sure they send mail. They're really good recruiters. Cronin's a really good coach. Any of y'all watching that thing about UCLA, you need to go ahead and just commit. We doing big things you over here you feel me we're getting westwood back on the map um davidson that's what, i don't know if it's gonna focus but um y'all know the great steph curry that's where he went and a lot all this mail is from my sophomore nothing past my like me going into my sophomore year like i wasn't receiving mail after that part i was it was mostly offers like i said i got a big basket full of mail but i wouldn't want to bore y'all as y'all could tell it's really like repetitive the same thing kind of over and over again. Portland State, Portland Pilots, Portland, Portland, Ohio State again, um, and then Portland. So yeah, as y'all can tell, the mail is just 
um, a strategy for schools to get in at early. It necessarily doesn't mean a lot. If you're getting a lot of handwritten mail, I would say that's a big um, plus and they're really interested in emphasis put an emphasis on you, emphasis, I can't even say that, emphasis on you, because like I said, writing out mail takes a lot of time, I mean, coaches aren't gonna spend time writing out thousands and thousands of letters to kids all across the country, but if you're just getting stuff that's kind of just typed up and don't really say much, I, like, not toss it, the fact that you're getting mail is a big, big deal, but I would just put it more towards the back burner compared to schools that are writing you hand letters for sure. So without further ado, make sure y'all all go subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm be dropping five vids this week. I'm just gonna see how it is. I know I'm, I be like holding content back and stuff. So yeah, without further ado, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all of y'all for watching my videos. I appreciate all y'all for watching all my videos. I appreciate the support. I'm 25K thousand subs soon. And 25K thousand subs, I'm so, I'm just gonna end this bro.